All right, everybody, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the market maker move and how you can use that in your trading. So first, to show you where it's found in the uh, middle of the options chain, if a market has the market maker move at that time, that's where you will find it. Unfortunately, if there's no market maker move, there just won't be anything there at all. I think that's a design error. They should leave the three M's up here and then just have a bunch of zeros if there's nothing to show. But unfortunately, that's not the way they did it. So if you look up there and you don't find it, it's not because you have to turn it on or that you're missing it. It just means that the market you're looking at doesn't have a market maker move at that time. So there's a couple of articles from TD Ameritrade. They have a website called the Ticker Tape. And on that website, you can search for the market maker move. You find a couple of articles. I will have a link to this website down in the description. Once you're on that website, you just want to search market maker move MMM. And when you do, you'll get a bunch of different articles. Some of them don't necessarily connect with what you want, but if you catch this one, that'll be a really good read. And there are links in that article, which will lead you to other links and other articles here on the right side. So you can get a a really good description of what it is. The thing is, I don't think those descriptions do it justice, which is why I'm making this video. They mostly talk about earnings, which does make sense when there's an event or something else that is imminent and the market is worried about it, we'll see a market maker move show up. But why does it show up? So what happens is this number on the side is an average calculation of all of the out of the money options. It looks at the implied volatility of all of these out of the money options and it gets an average of that. And that's where we get this implied volatility. So when they go in and they trade a lot of those out of the money options, that movement increases the implied volatility greater than the other implied volatility on the chain. And it's because of that, that the average increases enough to get higher than the others on the chain. And then we have a market maker move. So one of the first things that you want to think about when you see that a market has a market maker move is that there is hedging going on because the market is concerned about an imminent move in the market. That tells you so much about the sentiment of what's going on. Every market out there has an expected move or a measured move, a defined range that it should move on a day-to-day -day basis. We call this a lot of different things and we can calculate it a lot of different ways. We can use the ADR, which is the average daily range. We can use an ATR, which is the average true range. We can even use the normal standard implied volatility from a daily candle chart, and we can derive measurements from that. Anything from a, a month, a year, a week, and even an intraday time period. But when we see the market maker move, we want to add that number to whatever we already have. And just to demonstrate that for you, we'll go into an intraday chart. Here on this intraday chart, I have the ADR label and I have the market maker move label. I will put a link down in the description to these charts, which will already have these labels in the chart. All you'll have to do is import the chart and you'll get these indicators or these labels. And by the way, if you're interested in getting indicators and labels and charts like this, if you join the bullish bears, we have an entire Thinkorswim library with scans, charts, studies, labels, and documentation on how they were developed, how you can adjust them, and how you can use them. So if that's something you're interested in, there will be a link in the description to go to the Bullish Bears website where you can sign up and then come over to the Discord, start communicating with us, ask for Signet, and I will send you a link to that Discord. So what we're looking at here is these two yellow lines. That is the full ADR. And then we've got these two red lines, and that is half of the ADR in one way and half of the ADR going the other way, which when we combine it equals a full ADR. And then we have the market maker move, which we want to manually attach to this yellow line up here and then measure higher and to this 
yellow line down here and measure lower. And inside of all of that noise, we have this clouded shaded area in the middle and we have this green line and this red line. Now that green line and that red line is what we call the probable move. And here in the clouded shaded area is what we call the intraday implied move. So where do all these numbers come from? The implied move is using the implied volatility number here from a daily time frame. What this daily chart is telling us is that Apple could move 21.92% higher or lower in the next one year. That's what this purple cone is representing. That's $41.16 higher and $41.16 lower. Well, that might be okay, you know, for long-term traders, but how can we use that for day trading? Well, in, instead of using a an entire year, we could use a month or we could use a week or we could use a day. So when we take that into consideration, what is that daily formula? What is that daily calculation? And can we see it on the chart? So once we have all of these numbers, we have these lines, we understand how far the market could go. If we then see a market maker move, we want to add that number onto the farthest line that we have. And in this case, $191 for Apple is the ADR full to the upside. We would take that and we would add another $1.67, which would put us at $192.67. So that's not bad. That gives us an upward range. Now, there are no, there's no promises that we're going to move that far, right? It's just saying that due to um, the trades that are happening within the front end of the options chain, the market could make this outsized move, that it has the potential right now for that to happen. And in fact, that's what is being hedged within the options right now, which is really cool because it tells you how much the market thinks this thing could move. It shows you where their fear or their sentiment is at. There's a collective wisdom in that, right? You have to try to imagine that firms and institutions and large options traders got a pretty good idea of what they're doing, right? That, that's not always true. But more often than not, they're, they've got a little a little edge to their style, to their approach. And if their options trades reflect a bias that says Apple could move an additional $1.67 from its farthest measured move, then that's really important, right? Because what if we wanted to do a broken wing butterfly or an iron condor or even just put on maybe some of our own far out options trades, like a debit spread far out of the money or a really cheap butterfly. We would have a better idea of what area to target if we knew where everybody else was targeting. Now, sometimes you can see that, right? You can see it in the options. You'll see where they're trading, where the greatest amount of volume is and open interest. But this is showing an immediate move in trading activity because the market maker move will only show up if the hedging was great enough to change the implied volatility average of the front options. When you see that market maker move, you can automatically assume that they are hedging. They are protecting themselves from a big move that is imminent or that they believe is imminent, or they're trading to try to profit from a big move that they believe is imminent. So that's a really valuable really useful piece of information. It can warn you if you're a cautious trader who wants to avoid drastic moves. It can warn you to stay away. And if you're a speculative trader who wants to maybe take advantage of a heightened potential for a big move in the market, then it can bring you to it so that you can trade it. This market maker move is just math. At the end of the day, it's just a probability calculation. So there's no promise that we're going to make the move. There's no guarantee that it will meet that or that it will stay inside that range either. But Apple could move $5 higher or lower. It could move way more than these two numbers combined. 
because there's no cap to how far this could move. It's just giving you an idea of where the money is going and what the sentiment is identifying for the collected wisdom of how far this could move or where the collected money says that this could move. All right. So that is the market maker move. And all of those links will be down in the description. And if you have any questions on this at all, you can post those questions in the comments below, or you can join us at the Bullish Bears, come into the Discord, and talk about it. Put your questions out there. I look forward to hearing from you.